Hello YouTube, this is Sonic UK here, and uh, in this tutorial, we are going, for Love Today of course, we're going to be uh, fixing up a few things, uh, I haven't really thought about what we're going to do, but we're going to add a background, that's one thing we're going to do, we're going to add some sort of background, and we are going to fix up a very important bug that was in the last videos, but before all this, I want, well, wow, I'm, I'm disorganized, let me start that again. Hello YouTube, <laughs> Sonic2KK here, and welcome back to another Love to d program tutorial, and in this tutorial, we are going to fix up a bug that was in the last tutorial, because if you, if you notice, we got three points there, when we shouldn't have, we should only get one every time we collect one of these, uh, noms, as I call them. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I, I heard the song Nom 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 by Pie Grip, and I like calling things noms, like food, I will say, instead of saying, let's go out and get some food, let's go out and get some noms, don't ask why, just, I just do, because I'm crazy, but, uh, anyway, this shouldn't be going up by three, this shouldn't be incrementing by three, this should be incrementing by one, and this didn't work the way I intended it to, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove noms collected, we're going to remove this if statement right here. And we're going to de-indent this. If you're using Sublime Text, as you should have guessed, if you highlight something and press Tab, it will tab in. But if you hold Shift and Tab, it will tab out. Well, the other way, it will tab left and instead of tab right. Yeah, I think you get the idea. Uh, if you're watching the video, not just copying and like, listening. and I don't know what you'll be doing. Maybe you could be doing something like strange. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. I already talked about this. But what we can actually do now is... I think we can change this from O to O2. Oh, we need to change it here as well. Yep, and watch, we only get one. Yay, that was a really quick fix. All we had to do was remove three lines of code. Uh, yeah, so that was awesome. As I'm sure you could guess. Yeah, um, actually. What I'm going to do is, because uh, I'm going to add a background. I've talked about love.draw, and that draws whatever's on the screen right now. Uh, ignore this. This is going to be for a later tutorial, but that's going to be whenever we start drawing start menus and stuff that's fun and awesome. But for right now, um, what we're going to do is we are going to try and draw a background. Now, you can either draw a background, or you can... Like with a picture, or you can uh, just set the background color if you want it to be a certain color. So we could say love dot graphics dot dot set background color. Uh, I don't need to add a semicolon. Uh, and this is where you can add your. Uh, I don't think there's a transparency. Actually, we'll test that. So you put in the normal RGB values like you would for set color. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 0, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5. And this will give a cyan color. This will make a cyan background. And now the background cyan. But that is really bright. I don't know how that's going to come out in the tutorial. <laughs> if you have a really high brightness in your monitor, you are probably blind right now. And I am. I apologize. I didn't think it was going to be that bright, even though I use that a lot. In case you can't tell, I really like blue. Blue is, like, awesome. I, I, I just love the color blue. Um... Yeah, but it's awesome. Anyway, that is a bit bright, so we can maybe bring that down to 200. Oh, that's a yucky color. Maybe this? Eh, it's better. That was bright. And it, it actually looks kind of nice. It, it grows on you, as I would say. Which basically, if you don't know, means it, it. the more you look at it, the better it gets. Like, if you've seen the girl and she goes, what? And she's like, 80. And the more you look at it, the funnier it gets. That's kind of like what this is. But I got a topic there. Um, debugging. You set high scores. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, now that's all, that's, that's fine and all. Um, but, you know, you don't want your background to be a solid colour, do you? If you do, you're going to have a pretty boring game, let's be honest. Um, if, if I were you, I would want a picture as my background. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to open up GIMP. Um, and that's just going to open. 
Uh, and while that opens, let's talk about Love 0 0.9. What is that noise? Where's people walking at the edge? Because, like, I'm in my hotel room right now because I'm on holiday. Um, and there's always people walking at the edge. Like, the hotel room door. Um, yeah. Also, this is Friday. This is the date. And I'm going home tomorrow. So, more videos tomorrow. Yay! Yay, awesome sauce. Uh, Gim's gonna take ages to open. So, Love 0 0.9. What is Love 0 0.9 gonna have? Oh, Gim's open. Anyway, let's continue before we go on. Uh, Love 0 0.9. Love 0 0.9.0 0, uh, is Baby Inspector, and it is going to have a lot of awesome features. It's gonna have resizable windows, it's gonna have geometry, it's going to have, uh, like, default mouse cursors. Like, let me just show you this. I run it. Look. Look at the mouse. I, I was about to point the screen. But I'm sure you can see it. If you're on Windows, you would notice that it looks more like a Mac mouse. If you're on Linux, it would probably be closer to what the mouse looks like there. But on Mac, you may think it's the exact same. But notice up here, you might not, it might not come out in the video, but there's a shadow on the mouse. And here, 3D, 2D, 3D, 2D. And Love is based on SDL. And SDL 2.0, which was just released, and that's what... Uh, Love 0 0.9, as far as I know, is going to use. Uh, it's going to have the default system mouse, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be just awesome. So, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new image, and I'm going to make it 800 by 600. It's never good to hard code values, but you can set a filter, which basically makes the thing like, oh, I'm going to show you that. Um, yeah, so let's draw a background. Let's go here, get a, a nice blue color on the go, uh, yeah, like that, and we're going to fill the background, um, and then I'm going to get at my awesome drawing skills, just show them off in this tutorial, oh, um, yep, awesome art here by Eamon Ray, just uh, incredible, I mean, come on, you can find art better if you tried. Like this is this is just ma this is just a masterpiece. Um. Yeah. Uh, one more, just because. And I'm going to fill it. And there you go. Awesome. Now we have a background. Uh, I would draw a rainbow, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> um. Oh, well, hold on, one more thing, because I'm just like, well, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. And if you're using GIMP, it will save as a .xcf. I have no idea if Love reads .xcf format, and I don't want to find out. So what you want to do is if you're using GIMP command or Control e and you can export, and here it will export as a PNG. I think you can change it to a JPEG or something, but uh, PNG, to be honest, is the best, in my opinion. And I'm going to call this bg.png. I want to go to desktop. I want to go to programming. I want to go to... Look. I'm going to go to love. Fun with love. Where's YouTube tutorials? YouTube tutorials. IMG. Oh, it was already bg. I'm going to replace it. I don't know what it was. Replace. Uh, just export. Um, and discard changes. So... Uh, make a background, get a background image off the internet, doesn't matter, as long as it's not cop. well, if you're going to release a game, make sure it's not copyrighted, and what we can do here is we can remove this, and I want to explain about drawing, now, the way a drawing works, it's layered, think, when you draw something, you, you draw it on layer one, when you, and if you draw something under that, like if I draw, like, say, draw player, right, the player will be on layer one. Layer one. If I draw a cloud, cloud layer two because it's under it. But if I move this up, like I bring this up, the cloud will now be on layer one and the player will be on layer two. So that's how it works. And uh, so right here. 
we're drawing the player, and then we're drawing the norms. So the the norms are being drawn on top of the player, on a layer on top of the player, if you like. Uh, so if they didn't collide, the player would go kind of like under the norms, not over them. If you get what I mean. Um, so we can just remove this. And what we want to do is we love, we love that graphic because we want the background to be on the the bottom layer, which is at the top of the love that draw. Well, it's not necessarily there, but everything gets drawn on top of it. You draw it before everything else, usually, um, because it's the background. It's on the back. Uh, love that graphics that that what? <laughs> love the graphics that draw. Uh, oh, I forgot to uh, include the background here. Uh, where's the background? Where's images? 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 Because there's no images. Uh, load that in here. Background image equals love. Graphics new image. Images bg dot png. Um, and then we want to draw background image zero zero because remember zero zero is on the top left hand corner, and that's all we need. What? Oh, IMG, it's called the. Uh, uh, I'm a dummy. <laughs> so let's see over here. IMG. Oh. Oh, we're setting the colors. Oh, right. Yeah, we're setting the color. Um, up here, what we want to do is we want to set the color. Because. Yeah, we should just set the color up here. Love graphics set color zero or no two five two five two five and there we go. We have the background. Yay. Uh but if we say we increase the window size, say we make it thousand by six hundred. Oh, a hundred by no not a hundred. We wanna make it thousand. Look, the background's going off the screen. Like, it's it's not here. What? What? We can't do this. What happens when 0 0.9 comes out with three sizable windows? What? Then what's gonna happen? Uh, what's gonna happen to all the older games? Uh, are they all gonna have to be recoded? No, because what we can do is we can set a thing called a filter. And um, I think. Texture. No. Hmm. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure of this. Right, image sets repeat. No, I'm not entirely sure how to do this. I'll cover this in the next tutorial. Uh, but know that there is a way to do it, and I will do it in the next tutorial. I would look it up in the wiki, but no internet. No, no, no internet because I'm not in the hotel room. Um, there's no internet in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah, we'll cover that in the next tutorial, but. Like, background. Is that not awesome that we have a, a background and we're like in the sky and... Oh, it's just awesome. Uh, isn't it? Isn't it? It's awesome? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. But you would agree. <laughs> no, I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name's Sonic2KK and I will see you in the next tutorial.